I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Grinder's Creatures, but on today's episode, we are pulling a Monocentropus Balfouri egg sac. And you might be thinking, why are you pulling a Monocentropus Balfouri egg sac, Jaden? Like, why? <laughs> Just let it hatch with the mum. And that's because there's a very good reason, and that's because it is way past its due date. And by way past, I mean properly way past its due date. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, yeah, you can sort of add up what's happened. But uh, yeah, I've recorded some footage. Unfortunately, the footage that I did record is when I had really bad tonsillitis and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't really speak that much. So literally, I managed to record a few bits. So I'm going to do some voiceover for it. I'm going to show you exactly what happened. And then we're going to rehouse this Monocentropus balfouri into a new enclosure, one of the trencher room enclosures. And uh, yeah, we'll wait for her to molt out and then hopefully we can pair her again because this was a, a very special female to me, actually. So yeah. But now, let's go down to the table and let's have a look at some of this footage I recorded. So this is the enclosure that the female Monocentropus Balfouri was in. It's uh, absolutely destroyed at the minute, but yeah, I had to do it to actually get the egg sac. So a bit of a backstory with this, and I'll go into it in detail now, is that this egg sac has literally been around for some time now. And I must admit, I should have pulled it quite some time ago, but yeah, we, we all make errors. But, you know, I was sat there ill and I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm just going to pull it because it's only going to be bad news. So I ended up ripping up the tank, not massively, but, you know, I had to remove the cork bark. And, you know, she uh, gave it a little bit of a struggle. It wasn't too bad, if I'm honest. Pulled the sack out and uh, that's when I put it on the table. And I thought to myself, no, you know what, I'm going to record this. I think it would be good to record. And as you can see... The, uh, the egg sac was bad, but the thing that got me the most, well, just keep watching and I'll tell you in a second. So, as I was pouring the contents out onto the Lazy Susan, I started to notice that there was actually, you know, little spiders inside this egg sac. So, you know, I was, I was absolutely gutted. There was actually, you know, spiders inside there. Not just eggs. Actual spiders that died within that sack. So I'm not 100% sure what happened, if I'm honest. You know, whether it went mouldy or not. That's, that's my guess. I'm going to guess whether it went mouldy. So for those of you that watched on my old channel, you might recognise this girl because she actually produced an egg sac that failed. And uh, she ended up double dropping and now this one's failed, which is, you know, it's just, it's a bit sad if I'm honest. And then this female was actually the first ever confirmed female that I ever got in my collection. But fingers crossed I can get a sack from her in the future, which is successful. So not only was I ill, I was absolutely gutted about this egg sack, but you know, I, I knew it from the start, the minute I pulled it, if I'm honest. So I thought to myself, you know, I'm just going to rehouse it now, just quickly chuck it into a new tub, and I decided to use one of the new trencher room enclosures for this. So I hope you enjoy this rehouse, and then we're going to have a look at a couple feeds as well. So I ended up using cocoa fibre for this and I know in my last video I was on about, you know, I don't really use cocoa fibre, but you know, for dry species it is alright. 
I ended up putting a bit of cork bark in there as well just for you know some webbing points which you'll see later on in the video because you know you'll see how she's transformed the tank over the course of you know probably about a month and a half two months I actually can't believe she ran back up here. So now, let's have a look at some of these feeds and see how the tanks transformed. I'll make sure to keep you updated when I pair this girl again in the future. So that is all the footage for today's video, guys. I would say it was a you know a good one, but you know the content was pretty sad. 
and uh you know it, it's good to show this sort of stuff from time to time and you know so people can actually learn that you know not everything is easy not everything goes to plan and mistakes do happen but all we can do is try again in the future wait for her to molt out and then we can pair her again and hopefully get an egg sack from her because like i said this girl is very very special to me on top of that i've got plenty of other balfoury breeding projects underway because yeah you know balfoury world domination but yeah Really do hope you enjoyed this video, guys. You know, I haven't done a Balfouri video in quite some time, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. But thank you very much for watching, guys. So if you could like, comment, and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon so you're notified of when I upload next. And don't forget, guys, I've got Patreon now, five different tiers. So if you want to help and support the channel, then please do. There's a link down in the description. It will be greatly appreciated. But that is it for today's episode. So Mr. Grin has done it. So are my creatures. So are my Balfouris. I'll see you next week, guys. Have a great one. You all deserve it. Peace.